Right, welcome to another morning at Quinta de Marina in Portugal. We're here courtesy of Glencore Golf and I'm about to film a video that you want the answers to. Surely everybody is asking right now, should you be using a Stealth HD 5 iron or a Stealth HD 4 fairway wood? I'll answer that question in today's video. And those questions are going to include the first big one that is on your mind, well certainly mine, and that is will the extra bulk and mass that's found in these new Stealth HD irons virtually make it exactly the same as a hybrid? Because effectively they are built in very, very similar ways. Or are they? Right, so we have perched up, ready to hit the first shot of the morning. And uh, confidence is massive in my opinion. And I'm talking about confidence in a club that you've got in hand and straight away, which would I mentally prefer to hit? A hybrid or an iron? Because effectively, whichever way you dress this up, this is still an iron. And I think for me, from a mental perspective, I would have more confidence in hitting this thing, but we'll see. Right, so the situation we're faced right now is second shot on a par five and the go-to club would surely beat the hybrid. That bulk and mass, like I said, giving me the confidence to, I need 180 yards, I need to be back down that fairway, ready for my approach to the green. So yeah, here we go. Now, although we've tugged that one a little bit down that left-hand side and judging by where my alignment is, that might have a little bit to do with it. The hybrid did exactly as you would expect and that is launch the ball high. The ball absolutely fizzes off it. And if I could aim the right way, that would surely be the perfect start. But let's switch up and try that 5 HD iron and see what that does. Right, let's get another ball down, similar spec to where we've just hit and I've got to admit the one big thing about Stealth HD irons is like we've said also contain a fair bit of mass so my thing is with that I feel like I don't need to do as much in terms of effort as I might need to do if I had a bladed club in hand now what a strike that was and probably a better swing and a better shot shape that one is in position A, and interestingly enough, surprisingly as well, is that the fact that the HD iron hit the ball higher than that of the hybrid. That's just one shot in, was that down to strike, or was that down to the magic that's packed into these HD irons? Today's video comes to you in association with long-term channel travel partner, Glencore Golf Holidays, and we're at Quinta da Marina in Cascai, Portugal. The hotel and golf course have been a superb place to play and stay in the Portuguese sunshine and the proximity to Lisbon Airport and nearby Cascai make it the perfect European golf destination. So if you like what you see in today's video, then make sure you click on the link in the video description below or head on over to glencoregolf.com for more booking information. Right, so we've just pitched up a little bit further down the fairway and this time we're 180 yards out. We're playing from the sort of first cut of rough, but this time we're playing into the green. So what we're really looking for is how do they differ in terms of that ball flight and descent angle, in terms of are they landing on greens and then stopping on them? That is the next key question that you're asking from these clubs and the type of shot that you're looking to execute. That's a super strike. It's just right of flag. There you go, first bounce. Uh, just left of flag, sorry. First bounce seems to come down fairly soft, but it's the ball flight that allows it to do it because no matter how high it is in terms of launch, it is the same in terms of descent angle. It's coming down steep and irrelevant of spin. That ball looks as though it's stopping. So everything that I would have expected to see in terms of the hybrid. I will just leak that one out a bit to the right hand side. Interesting enough, from a carry perspective, it probably did what we would have thought or hoped at least. Anyway, it certainly got there. Ball flight's a little bit different in terms of a little bit lower launching and therefore descent angle again would probably be an issue coming into that green. So for me, from the tight line on the fairway, the help or the extra help I got from the hybrid would probably have been the winner in this situation. Now, of course, one other major consideration is the looks of these products, and in two ways. First of all, from a shelf appeal perspective. What are you thinking? Let me know in that comment section below. I mean, 
I think what they've done in terms of that HD iron is a really good job of making a genre of club look really appealing. Yes, it's bulky. Yes, it's got a lot of mass. That whole sole is super wide and can often put you off straight away, but they've built the club height very differently. It's just, it's almost a hybrid of an iron and a hybrid, if you like. And I don't mind what they've done at all. And the more I've played with these and the testing that I've done, the more I've got used to the look. The hybrid obviously is just classic hybrid looks to a degree because what they've done with the HD lineup if they've made the profile just a little bit bigger. So again, for me, I don't really like the small hybrids. They're not that appealing. I just don't like the look of them, never mind what they do in terms of confidence or anything else. But I like this idea of sort of almost like a mini fairway wood. And to me, that's what they've done with this HD product. So you've got to make a decision. You're looking at these two things on the shelf or you're looking at these two things at address. Which one is it that you would choose? And like I said, I've given you my opinion, but please get involved in the comment section below and let me know yours. Right, so next scenario would be a tight par four where I will be reaching for hybrid, typical of this, where really what you're looking for is position off the tee. Obviously, same applies. We're looking for 180 yards. That's the kind of distance I would expect from both of these clubs. But it's about confidence again. I think having started the review, it's the one thing that I've found is that I'm using that word a lot, is confidence. In these scenarios, what would I prefer to be hitting? I suppose that's it. And what's happened is traditionally my mindset is taking me towards the hybrid. But what we've seen earlier on in the video was that mentality was perhaps incorrect because the 5HD iron did just as good of a job. Anyway, let's see how we get on and can we find this tight fairway at Kinsida Marina. It's a lovely golf hole. Them trees in the backdrop are our line or the tallest one um, sort of right of centre. Right, here we go. Well, that's a super ball from the hybrid. Again, what's interesting, to be honest with you, is um, a stronger ball flight in terms of that launch angle than perhaps what I would have expected, similar to what we've seen from the fairway lie. Don't forget we're taking it off the tee this time. So that was a bit of a shock. Let's see what happens in terms of that ball flight with that 5HD iron. I'll just turn that one over into the left hand side again super strike ball flight to be honest with you very very similar i think in in my mindset with both maybe they would just look to be a little bit of extra effort to put in there to get that one down the fairway again not a great deal to separate them probably found the ball speed out of that hybrid did me a favor there and we'll look down range and see where those two ended up my guess would be that i certainly got a lot more help out of the uh, hybrid there than I did from the iron. Maybe not as good of a strike, but certainly a clear difference in terms of where those two have finished up, at least based on the strike that I think I put on them both. Now, the next reason you would have one of these over the other in the bag is perhaps versatility, flexibility, and just how many times you might use each of these clubs in your round of golf. I don't know about you, but I was starting to find that my five iron was becoming a little bit redundant and I didn't play it quite as often as I thought I did. So would I want that in the bag? And that flexibility also lends itself to around the green because there's one shot that I really like playing with hybrid with loft. And that's a little bit of a dink and run as I like to call it. And this chip shot that we've got behind us is perfect potentially for the hybrid. I'm not so sure I'd be trying the same shot with the five iron. But as with the others, let's see how we get on in terms of results. So for me, it's a little bit of a choke down, a bit of a putting stroke. And I love what a hybrid does in these situations, or at least I hope I do. Be a little bit firm, you know, sit down. Uh, it's just rolled off onto the fringe. I do you know what? It wasn't the end of the world. These greens are super quick at Kinsta Marina. I can learn a lot from that in terms of the five iron, but what does it do? You wouldn't naturally play this shot with a five iron. You would perhaps play an eight or a nine iron, but let's give that one a bit of a go. It could go in the hole. Well, it's very close and we were able to learn a lot from the first shot with the hybrid in terms of the pace of the shot. 
But interestingly enough, I said I wouldn't play a five iron from that situation, but would I play a five HD iron? Well, quite possibly based on those results. Right, so one of the things you might choose one over the other is because you just want all out distance and with the lofts being the same, which is gonna generate that further distance. Now again, my assumption is gonna be that the hybrid, the mass that's in there, and that loft elements as well is gonna mean that that combination, slightly longer shaft as well, don't forget, is gonna produce the longer results. So we're gonna stand on this tee and we're gonna give the goal ball a good old thump and see which one of these two gets out there in terms of distance and perhaps more importantly which one is easier to get that ball out there well big high ball flight slightly cutty out to the right hand side ball fired out there not learned a great deal in terms of from the hybrid but what happens when I hit the iron can it match it in terms of that ball speed Well, do you know what? It was a much better strike with the iron with the hybrid. That was bullet straight, really strong ball flight. And I think what I'm learning as this progresses is what I think a hybrid is gonna do in terms of the bonuses that it offers against the iron, in this case, the HD iron. Maybe it doesn't. Right, I think we're gonna draw it to a close. There's not many more situations I can put these uh, two into the test. I suppose we could hit a lot more shots, but I think we've seen enough. And I think I'm pretty shocked at what my opinion is at the end of this compared to perhaps what I assumed it might be. And that is that the Stealth 5 HD iron performed far greater than I expected it to be and very much in line with our hybrid performance rather than a long iron's performance. And I think, to be fair, that's what TaylorMade intended when they set out and made this set of irons and they've certainly achieved it. The problem you've got is that uh, just briefly on them HD irons is maybe that's not what you're looking for in the shorter end of the bag, but in the longer end, this really works well. The hybrid performed equally as well, but I think the choice then becomes, do I want to play an iron or do I want to play a hybrid? Because you're not really losing out by choosing one over the other. Whereas if you chose hybrid over a blade iron in five, we've got some clear decisions to make. So I love the idea that the HD lineup exists in terms of the stealth irons and a real good addition to their lineup hugely surprised anyway that was me at least let me know if you've got any fee feedback that you want to add from your own experience i would love to hear from you right thanks again to kinsa de marina and thanks for portugal for the sun shining on us and another trip that's uh, like i said organized by glencore golf hugely appreciative to them as well i'm all done i'll see you tomorrow night